Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Morning, y'all. Rick Fearless Fearless. Strokers Dallas. Strokers Ice House. Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. My insurance company. How you doing? It's Monday. Mm. Mondays are tough, man. They're tough. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2023, year of our Lord. That means our anniversary party is this weekend. Are you coming out? Yes, Rick, we're coming out. In my life, the 365 Project. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to take us back to 2010. In 2010, my family and I did a TV show called Ma's Roadhouse. So, it was a story about our family in the motorcycle and the bar business. Mainly we covered the bar. So reality TV is not 100% real. In our case, it was, the show was based on reality. Hey look, there's the poster right there. The show was based on reality. It was based on things that have actually happened up here or to me and uh, we took those things and recreated it. Uh, a lot of it was interaction with the actual customers or things that were happening as we were shooting. But, you know, my mom was the big, uh, she was the big uh, part of that show. She was the funniest part of that show. And uh, she would get so nervous. So they would give you this outline. And it would have like lines of what could be said. You know, and mom would say, oh, I just can't remember. I, I would say, mom, you're not supposed to memorize anything. This is just an outline. You know where it's going to start. I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, Ma, what are you doing goofing around in here? And you know where it's going to end. We're hugging and I'm saying, I'm sorry I doubted you. Everything else in between is what we want it to be. Ma, what are you doing? You're supposed to have had this liquor done uh, two hours ago. Ma, why are you sitting on the, uh, the other side of the bar drinking? I only drank one, Rick. One. One right after the other. You know, it was all of that. Rick, you can't talk to me like that. I'm almost 40 years old. Ma, throw in. So she'd all be all nervous, all nervous, all nervous, all nervous. And she always wanted me there, even if, if I wasn't on camera with her. She wanted me there so I could feed her some lines or just make her feel better. But she didn't need me there because once she got going... You couldn't hardly stop her. She'd throw out the F word and some cussing, and the people on the crew, the young people, would laugh and giggle, and the more they laugh and giggled, the more she threw out. The more she drank and the more she cussed, the, the more she liked it. So it was, a, it was a fun part of my life. I'm so glad I did it. You can still catch episodes of Ma's Roadhouse, and uh, Texas Hard Tales, another show we did on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I could talk, I could do 365 episodes on just Ma's Roadhouse and Texas Hard Tales. But it was a cool thing, and I'm, uh, I'm glad we did it. Okay, check that chuck. Check that chuck, you big dumb. Woo! Woo! What you got there, boy? Let's scan the van. <coughs> Scooter, excuse me. That's a scan the van. So that is vans. Why are these 
have lines on there, and why are they so squiggly? So these are cow vans, not real cow. Pretty cool, though, the way they do it. Black shoelaces, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Those are some handsome shoes there, boy. I ain't kidding. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Chuck guy. But I dig the vans too. Dad joke. What time is it when an elephant sits on a fence? Time to get a new fence. Slang. What's your beef? Beef meant like problem. You got a beef with me? I got a beef with you, Jack. People don't say beef anymore as far as in that context. Motivational minute. You and I, everybody is the average of five people that they hang out with the most. Take the five people you hang out with the most and you're the average of those five people. If it's five good people, five well-off people, five smart people, you'll be a good person, a well-off person, a smart person. But if you're hanging out with five losers, you're going to be a loser too. More than likely, you're going to be a loser too. What does that mean, Rick Fairless? That means be particular about who you spend time with. If somebody is toxic or they are uh, somebody that's that's tries to get you to do things you shouldn't do, maybe you shouldn't hang around with them. You know, hang around with your family. Hang around with people that you trust. Hang around with people that support you. It's always good to hang around with good people. Okay? I mean, it's just common sense. Anniversary party this weekend, October 27th, 28th, 29th. Looks like we're going to get some rain early in the week, but by the end of the week, the weather should be beautiful. A lot of good music coming in. A lot of things happening for the anniversary party. Got some surprises for you, too. So if you want to come to Dallas, this would be a good weekend to come down and uh, enjoy Strokers. Love to meet you. Love to give you some skin, man. Give you some skin. Hey, that was yesterday. Well, I give skin every day. Strokers Dallas Merch, M E R C H dot com. We've got a bunch of shirts coming in for the party. Bunch of things happening. But I'm going to leave you with this. We all know who Paul Harvey is. Well, Paul Harvey was good friends with J. Edgar Hoover from the FBI. Did you know that Paul Harvey used to give J. Edgar Hoover some uh, advanced copies of his radio show a couple of days before he did them to get the approval of J. Edgar Hoover? Did you know that? That, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. All right, y'all come see me. I don't want no beef, though. Peace and love, baby.